Kingdom Animalia Phylum Chordata Subphylum Vertebrata Class Mammalia Order Cetacea Let's talk about whales. The order Cetacea comprises two extant suborders, extant meaning still living, and one extinct suborder. The extant suborders are Mysticeti, baleen whales, and Odontoceti, toothed whales. Both the Mysticetes and the Odontocetes are thought to be descendants of Archaeocetes, order Archaeoceti, ancient whales. This is the extinct suborder. Cetaceans evolved from terrestrial animals to an entirely aquatic life form. Cetaceans are white, black, grey, bluish grey, or pink in colour. Many are spotted, mottled, streaked, or boldly patterned. Most exhibit some countershading, tending to be lighter underneath than on top. They are large animals, ranging in size from 20 to 200,000 kilograms, and from 1.2 to 30 meters. Blue whales are the largest animals that have ever existed. Some species of cetacean, such as orca, are found in all of the world's oceans. Others are limited to one hemisphere, for example the Antarctic mink whale, or one ocean, like the Pacific white-sided dolphins. Most cetacean species are marine, inhabiting coastal areas as well as open ocean. A few species inhabit freshwater rivers and lakes. Others live in brackish waters of estuaries and coastal marshes. All cetaceans share a number of similarities, a few of which are a fusiform, streamlined body shape, paddle-shaped front limbs, vestigial hind limbs which are within the body wall, a tail flattened with horizontal flukes at the tip, thick subcutaneous blubber layer filled with fat and oil, external nares, the blowhole, on top of the head, a shortening of the neck, and internal reproductive organs. Many of these characteristics are adaptations to reduce drag for fast swimming in the aquatic environment. Some cetaceans are thought to be the most intelligent non-primates, and many have proportionately large brains. They also have extremely efficient lungs and circulatory systems, allowing them to dive for extended periods of time. Cetaceans use about 12% of the oxygen they inhale, compared to 4% used by terrestrial mammals. They also have at least twice as many erythrocytes, that's red blood cells, and myoglobin molecules in their blood, for efficient capture and transport of oxygen. When cetaceans dive, their heart rates slow by as much as 80 beats per minute. This is called bradycardia, the slowing of heart rate. This is so that their bodies use less oxygen than they would otherwise. Cetaceans swim by pumping the tail and flukes up and down, and using the flippers for stability. Many smaller dondocete species gain extra speed by riding waves created by wind or by boats. Cetaceans inhale before diving. They stay underwater anywhere from a few seconds to over an hour. Cetaceans are found in groups that range from single individuals to small, unstable associations to herds of hundreds or even thousands of individuals. Some groups of dondocetes, like orca pods, form stable dominance hierarchies. Cetaceans produce a variety of sounds. Baleen whales moan, grunt, chirp, whistle, and click to communicate. These sounds are made by the larynx. Male humpback whales sing for up to 40 minutes at a time, presumably to attract females. Low-pitched moans produced by some baleen whales may be the loudest sounds produced by any animal. They carry underwater for hundreds of kilometers. Odontocetes communicate with whistles. These sounds are most likely produced by opening and closing nasal plugs. Odontocetes also use clicks for echolocation, to navigate and to find food. They have a fatty organ, called a melon, on the forehead that focuses acoustic signals as they are emitted, and they receive sounds in the middle ear via the mandible. Some species of cetaceans, for example humpback whales, are known for their seasonal long-distance migrations between temperate feeding grounds and tropical breeding grounds. Mysticetes are filter feeders, using their baleen to strain plankton and other tiny organisms from the water. Baleen is made from keratin, the same material as your fingernails. It forms plates that hang from the inside of the top of the whale's mouth, like a giant comb. When baleen whales are feeding, they take large gulps of water. Then they squeeze the water out through the baleen plates. The baleen acts like a filter, getting rid of unwanted water and keeping in good food such as small plankton and krill. Odontocetes, the toothed whales, primarily feed on fish, squid, and crustaceans, though the larger species also eat aquatic birds and mammals. 
Cetaceans have few natural predators, except other cetaceans — yes, we're talking about you, orca — sharks, and occasionally walruses and polar bears, which feed on belugas trapped in ice. For centuries, cetaceans have been hunted for their meat, blubber, and oil. The late 19th and 20th centuries saw a boom in commercial whaling to provide oil for lighting and heating, and was facilitated by newer and deadlier technologies for hunting whales. However, in 1986 a moratorium on commercial whaling was enacted by the International Whaling Commission, and today only Norway continues a commercial harvest. Harvesting for scientific purposes continues, however, and several countries, including Iceland and Japan, continue to hunt whales under the name of scientific whaling. Cetaceans are important for entertainment and tourist industries. Captive odontocetes are trained to perform tricks for large crowds of spectators, and whale watching boats are popular attractions for tourists wishing to catch a glimpse of cetaceans in the wild. Whales are also important cultural and mythological icons for various peoples around the world. So there you go. A quick introduction to the marine mammal order Cetacea, i.e. whales. Hey you! Hit the like button! Yeah, and the subscribe one too! Yay! Yay!